I'm Linda from Barlardi's Body Blitz. Welcome to Triple Burn Shape. For today's workout, all you will need is an exercise mat. I'm not wearing shoes, but if you prefer to, you can. I've got a selection of hand weights. I've got light one kilo hand weights, and I've got two and a half kilo, three and a half kilo, and five kilo. So that's two pounds, five pounds, eight pounds, and 11 pounds. Then I've also got a stability ball, which we're going to be using to either use as a support to do some back extension work on and also to use as roll out. So if you don't have a ball, you can do most of the exercises maybe using a step or a weights bench, but with the roll out, you might just need to keep your leg on the floor or, or just hover it instead of rolling it on the ball. With that roll out exercise, it is a bit of a balance challenge, so you might wanna have a chair handy just to give you some extra support. In that case, you'll only hold on to one way. So the triple burn principle means there's going to be two lower body exercises, two upper body exercises, and two core exercises. Within each exercise, there's gonna be three different intensity levels, starting with the most intense, going down to the least intense. So it's gonna be a total body workout, fully fatiguing each muscle group before we move on. Let's do a quick warm up, but if you're in a very cold climate, make sure you warm up extra and come back when you're ready. So feet are slightly wider than your hip width, and all we're gonna do is come down and swing our arms. So you're bringing your arms by the side, then coming up onto that toe and swinging those arms to the corners. So I want you to try and really open up the chest and feel your shoulders activating. Keep your tummy pulled in, and sink quite low here, loading the weight in the heels so that you have a nice warmth coming through your quads, your glutes, and your back of leg or your hamstrings. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now I want you to start coming across and across and just tap your toe behind. So it's a light little push off. You don't even need to jump. It's gonna kind of push off and bring your arms forward, leaning forward slightly from the waist and making sure you're predominantly, predominantly, can't even speak, putting the weight into the heel of the front leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, now we're just gonna bring our arms down and our knees up, nice sweeping motion. So our arms are slightly figure eighting here, knees coming to the chest. I wanna warm up through the core, so I want you to lean that chest forward as your knees come up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now bring your knee to the side and your elbow down. So breathe out and out, out and out. So you're bending into it, feeling your obliques, your waistline, and rowing that elbow past your thigh. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And very last thing, I want you to sweep your elbows past the knee and really feel your oblique ringing. Blow out, bring that knee on the diagonal, across, across. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. So now we're going to elevate our feet for the first exercise. So we're going to get our elevation, put it quite close and then put your loop on just above the knees. So you need this resistance loop. If you don't have a loop, you can use a resistance band tied into a loop. Make sure it's nice and flat here. We're going to start with front squats. So we're gonna hold the weights up here or by your side, and we're just gonna go down and up. So I'm going to use my heaviest weight for this, and I'm going to put my heels up onto that smaller weight. If you prefer to use a weight uh, which is a plate from a barbell, you can do that. Or even anything else, a phone book. Now make sure your knees are soft and you can either do it like this, sitting back and up, or keep your hands up here and go down and up. So start with me, down and up, down and up. So I really want you to push your glutes towards the back wall, keep a nice flat back, 
and as if you're sitting into a chair, you're really trying to keep that weight in the heels, pressing into that elevation. As you come up, squeeze your glutes, and you're also gonna feel this a lot in your quads. So you're breathing in at the bottom, out at the top, down and up, down and up. Your arms are gonna get some work here as well. That's a bonus. We're gonna keep the pace quite fast, just because I want your heart rate to come up a little bit and have a bit more of a cardio, fat burning, calorie burning effect. Down and up, a few more. Try and sink really low. Six, and five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job putting down the heavier weights. Now getting a slightly lighter set of weights. Make sure you always have tension on the loop horizontally so you don't ever want your feet to be too close together. Get back up on your elevation. Once again, either by the side or up here. We're gonna go down two, up two. Down two, up two. So at the top of the move, I'm not coming up all the way. I'm hinging forward at my hips with a flat back, up two. Down two, up two. Really trying to squeeze every muscle in the lower body. A few more like this, and then we're gonna change the rep pattern. Four more sets. Down two, up two. This is three, up two, and two. Up two, last one, up two. Now pulse down, two, three, and squeeze up. Down, two, three, and squeeze. If you prefer, down, two, three, squeeze up. Down, two, three, squeeze up. Keep the tension on the loop. Three, squeeze up. Really nice and low. Three, squeeze up. Down, two, three, squeeze up. Last time, two, three, squeeze up. Now go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up. Eight again, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more time for eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we're gonna do singles to finish. Down and up, keep it up here if you like. Down and up, down and up, down and up. Slightly faster, maybe slightly deeper. A few more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now put those weights down. You can lose the elevation if you prefer. I'm gonna keep it, keep that nice horizontal width there to keep your thighs engaged. And we're gonna come really low now. I'm gonna bring my fingertips to the ground. Deep breath in, deep breath out, and pulse all the way down. I'm actually touching my fingertips to the mat. You don't need to go all that low. Make sure you've got a flat back. Down and down. This one's gonna burn quickly. We're not doing a lot of these. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now fast and slightly more shallow. Use your arms, down and up, down and up. Try to sit really far back, as if you're about to sit in a chair, then you change your mind. Using your arms has momentum. Down and up, down and up. Come on, breathe through it. A few more like this, and we're going back to pulsing. You can do this, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back down, last little bit. Down and down, come on. If you don't wanna be here, stay up here. Doesn't matter as long as you feel the burn in your quads and your hamstrings and your booty. A few more like this and we're done with this first grouping. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and done. Okay, you no longer need the light weights. We're gonna keep this loop. We're going to use our ball for those rollouts. 
and we're going to get your medium weight. So not the heaviest, because you're gonna need some room to grow. So then I'm going to put my leg up on the ball. I'm going to make sure that I test this. Number one, there has to be a bit of gap between your two legs horizontally. It will help you be more stable. So then roll back and come in. Is that okay? Can you do that? Make sure you press the top of your foot into the ball. Shoulders are down and back. Weights are by your side and we're gonna get started. Roll out, pull in. Weight is in the heels, pull in. Roll it out, pull it in. So the main work is in the supporting leg and you're trying to roll back far enough so that your knee of the supporting leg never comes out over the toe. So this is where you're gonna wobble. That's perfectly normal. So try to look in front of you, pick that focal point. Don't look around the room once you see the exercise. And if you need to hold on with one hand, just get that chair, drop the weight in whichever hand and go for it. Come on. Feeling the hamstring especially and the glute of that supporting leg. A few more, just straight sets. A lot is going on here. The core is firing down and up. And if you're like me, wobbling like crazy. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Put down that weight. Now, if you want to keep the loop, you can. Otherwise, you can drop it. Go to your next smaller weight. Mine is 2.5 kilos or just over five pounds. Same thing, but slightly slower. Slow and controlled and up. So think two, two. Down for two, up for two. Now maybe make that a wider rollout. Maybe nearly straighten your leg here. Slightly easier with a lesser weight, but now concentrating more because slower is harder, isn't it? Down and in, down and in. Wobbling is a good thing. You're using your core. So don't worry if you wobble, no one's watching you. Down and in. Ah, oh, definitely feeling this one. Out for two, up for two. Breathe through it. Try very hard to keep the weight in the heel of the supporting leg. It's gonna help you. Four more to make sure your glute is activated. Three more. Two, and last one. Now I'm going to drop the weights all together and I'm going to keep my loop on, maybe straighten that out a little bit. And I'm going to finish off this leg with faster and using my arms, okay? Leg is on. Make sure you've got that nice horizontal distance and test it out and in, out and in. So, a little bit faster and using those arms to try to counterbalance a little bit. <sighs> Come on. The burn is real and if your loop does what mine just did, get it back into place as quickly as possible and keep going. Don't miss a beat. I've just put mine below the knee of the supporting leg and that's actually a better option with this exercise. As long as it doesn't hurt you, it doesn't matter if it rolls up. Okay, six more, five, we're gonna hold it at the end. Four, three, two, one, and hold it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ouch, did you feel that glute on fire? So guess what? We're doing that now to the other side, exactly the same thing, starting with our medium weights, and putting the other foot on now. So, I'm moving my weights out of the way, putting my other foot on, 
and picking up my weights carefully and then testing that. Roll out, roll in. Is that okay for you? And if you want to, then move your loop under the knee of that supporting leg that's on the floor. Otherwise, keep it above and hope it doesn't roll up again. Out and in. Out and in. So this is my wobbly side. If you haven't been able to tell already, I am wobbling all over the place. So I cannot look at you at all. I have to look at my spot in front of me and hope that I don't actually fall over. Keep your tummy pulled in. Core is what's going to help you balance here. A strong core. So, it's not about the legs so much, it's about holding your belly in and coming down with a flat spine. Ah, oh, sweat is starting to pour. Six more like this. And in. Five. All the way in. Four. Come on, weight is in the heels. Three and two and last one. Hamstring death, right? Okay, get your next weights down. Mine are the 2.5 kilo and we're doing the same thing with a two-two count. So put your foot on, make sure you've got that nice distance between the two legs so you're feeling the horizontal pull on your outer thighs. Two down. I'm just going to put my loop under my knee. Two up. Two down. Two up. Okay. Once you have this, really try to flatten your back and come low with those arms. Weight in the heels of the supporting leg. Ah, oh, straighten that leg behind even longer. Straighten it, it will put more pressure on the loop and you will get quicker results. Maximize each rep, down for two, up for two. All the way and up. Come on, you can do this. We did it on the other side, just focus and go. Down and up, let's go for eight more. Eight and up. Seven, up, six. Oh, my shins are feeling this too. Five, and my calves. And four, and three, all the way to the end. Two, and one. <laughs> Wobbling all over the show. Okay, last one, no weights, but Definitely loop and faster with hands in front to counterbalance. Leg is on. Are you ready? Down and up, down and up. Faster, leaning further, reaching with those arms, trying to create the nice long line. Rolling that leg out, still feeling this butt cheek burning like crazy. Try and go that little bit faster. Hold your tummy in. Ah, oh, yep, the burn is real. This is the last bit. Then we're on to upper body. See how fast this is going? So really try to sink lower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Super quick for you. Okay, so anchor your ball and we're going to start with the first upper body exercise. So in this one, you're going to be doing a bicep, shoulder press, weights together, tricep. So that's going to be the exercise. You can either sit down to do this on the ball or even on a chair, or you can do it standing. You want to keep your loop around your forearms for the first set and you want to get weights. I'm not using my heaviest, I'm using my medium weights. And you want to make sure your stance is nice and soft, your knees are soft, 
shoulders are down the back and the heads of your weights are against your thighs. So we're coming in, we're pressing up, then we're bringing our weights together, down and up. Then down and down. So it's up and up, down and up, down and down. Okay, so that's the exercise. Down and up, down and down. It's slow and controlled. Down and up, down and down. All the way. Oof. Down and up. Now you can separate your weights when you do those triceps extensions. So keep them separate and just be really careful trying to keep your biceps up by your ears. So if you're doing it separated, keep the elbows facing the front, biceps by the ears. Or if you want to, come up, go together, touch your weights and then come down. This is a safer option if you're not used to doing these triceps extensions, okay? So you choose your level, up and up, together, down, up. It's okay if the loop moves around, no problem there, as long as when you're coming back to this position, there's tension horizontally. Don't let it be a loose banana shape, down and up. We've got four more sets, down and down. Up and up, and down and down. Three more. Down and up, down and down. Two more. Down and up, down and down. This is the last one. Down and up, down and down. Awesome job. Okay, so now we're going to pick up our lighter weights. If you want to, you can actually put the loop just above your elbows. That's another place that you can put it and it will move around less. Now we're doing the same thing, but instead of going through all three exercises, we're going to do 30 of each. So starting with 30 hammer curls. So it's one, two. I want your elbows slightly out from the body. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, is there tension on your loop? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, that's halfway, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, just 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one. Awesome job. I'm going to move my loop again because for the shoulder press I definitely find it more comfortable around my wrists or slightly up my forearms. So bring your weights up and we're just going to press up from here. One, two, three, overhead, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You want to slow it down? You can. Twelve, 13, 14, 15, take a break if you need to. 17, 18, 19, 20. You can rotate your hands if you want. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, down and down. Now for the last one, I'm just going to use one weight and I'm going to keep my hands pressing in against that weight. So you're coming overhead, you're coming down and up. Now for this one, you probably want to bring it above the elbows again because it might move around too much if it is around your wrists. Bring it nice and flat. Grab that weight, push in. It's going to intensify the move. Down and up, down and up. Now I know this loop is ultra close to your forehead right now, but just come to the back of your head with the weight, then push back up, 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 up. Hopefully the loop's not actually touching your head. Just angle your arms in a way that it works out, or else put them back around the wrist. If you prefer, up, up. Keep your legs soft, your back nice and straight. Come on, up and up. We're going for a few more reps with this one because 
it doesn't burn quite as much. So you need to press in onto that weight with both hands. Go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Just 10 more. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come down. Okay, now I'm going to lose the loop and just use my little weights now. And we're going to change our angle slightly to make it burn even more. So this time I want your palms up and I want your arms in front. So there's a gap between your elbow and the wrist. And we're going to do biceps curls, 30, in and out, two, faster, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10 more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, straight into it, knuckles together, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 3, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Swing your arms for a second. Deep breath in, join your weights together, arms are up, hands are together and elbows by the ears. Up, two, three, four, five, six, push against the weights really hard. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Done with that one. Nice job. Okay, so now we're moving on to the next upper body exercise. We're going to be using our stability ball and we're going to use two different types of weights as well as our loop for the very last grouping. So I'm going to start with my medium weight and this is the exercise. We're going to lean on the ball with our hand in the center. We're really gonna stick our butt back. So we've got a nice flat back here. Our tummy is in and our knees are soft. We've got our hand quite close to the ball and we're just gonna come up to the front, to the side and then row, okay? Again, front, side and row. So at each point, I want you to stop, side and stop, row and stop. So it's slow and controlled because we have this heavier weight. And you can go slower than me if you need to. Just try very hard to keep your alignment. That's the important thing here. You want to look down and keep your neck nice and long in alignment with your spine. All the way up and squeeze. So you've got shoulder, you've got side of your shoulders there and then you've got your upper back okay so you're really working every part of that rotation front of the shoulder side of the shoulder and upper back and upper back a few more like this breathe out on the exertion make sure you're looking down don't crane your neck to look at me just focus on the exercise and you should be feeling your core here as well stabilizing you because of that ball. Side and back. Three more sets. Front, side and back. Two, side and back. And last one, side and back. Same arm, drop down to the lighter weight and we're going to do just 20 of each exercise a little bit faster. So push your butt to the back, get your form right, starting with 20 front raises. One, two, three, four. Don't swing, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, just 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
one, come up, roll your shoulder, deep breath in, come back down, proper form and out to the side, two, maybe slightly slower, four, five, you can bend your elbow here more if you want to, that will make it a lot easier, nine, ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come up, roll your shoulder, deep breath in, come back down, ten back rows, your back is a strong muscle, you can go slightly faster here, squeeze your shoulder blades, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Straight away grab your loop, hold it in this hand and you can anchor it either around your thumb or in your whole hand. Anchor it to the ball, we're just going to do 15 raises to the front, side and rows, okay? One, two, three, small range of motion, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, this should be tough, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, I said 15 and I did 20, so we're doing 20, out to the side, you can bend if you want, otherwise straight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, take a break if you need to, otherwise back rows for twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Other side. Swing your arms, get some life back in. Take water breaks if you need to. I'm keeping it fast paced and I'm trying to flow all the way through to keep that fat burning effect. It's not a super long workout, so up to you if you want to take breaks, but I'm trying not to. So put your hand in the middle of the ball, set yourself up again, nice soft knees, tummies are in. Back is flat, looking straight ahead with a nice straight spine and neck. And we're going to start front, side, and row. Front, side, and row. Adjust your feet accordingly. You might even want to split your stance. If that's more comfortable for you, then do that. You want to make sure that you're keeping the rest of your body as stable as possible here. Try not to move around too much. And the way to do that is by really, really tightening your core, side and back. Remember, we're stopping first, not using momentum, and back. How are you going with this? You going good? We're only at the beginning. The burn is gonna be real. Side and back. Come on, just a few of these slow ones. Then we're switching down. Back, how about four more sets? Up, side, back, this is three, side, back, squeeze those shoulder blades on that back, squeeze here, squeeze, up, side and back. Awesome job, drop it down. Now, 20 of each is all it is, starting with a front raise. Deep breaths here, starting to get fatigued, I know. Shoulders are down and back, tummies in, poke your bum out. Front, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more, don't swing. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up, roll your shoulders, breathe. Side laterals, you can bend your arm here if you need to. You can split your stands if you need to. 20 of these. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, just ten more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Roll it out. Last little bit in this segment before we move to the loop. Breathe in and fast rows. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop that weight, grab your loop, straight into it. Make sure you anchor that really well on the ball. You don't want it flying out, but you do want some good resistance. Stick your butt out. Starting with the front raise, 20 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, break if you need to, otherwise directly to the side, straight arm or bent arm, stick that butt out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Your supporting arm feels that one so much, right? Deep breath in. 10 back rows and we're done with upper body. Are you ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I meant 20. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Do as I do, not as I say, right? Okay, so the next one, we're going to do lower back extensions on the ball. We're going to use our light weights and we're going to roll onto that ball so make sure that you've got space there if you need to move your weights out of the way you can do that and your feet need to be anchored but you need to be able to bring your arms and your legs up opposite arms and legs okay so make sure you've got your feet in a position where you can lift them and you're not going to roll off that ball okay it's going to be opposite arms and legs. Now, we're going to do something slightly different with bringing our leg out to the side instead of just directly to the back. So what we're going to do is hold onto our weights, look down at our mat, and we're going to bring our opposite arm and leg up. Then we're going to bring it out to the side, back in line and down. This is tricky, tricky stuff. So maybe the other hand is flat, not with the weight, up, out to the side, back in line, down. Other hand, up, out to the side, back in line, down. Look straight ahead once you have it and use that supporting hand and the supporting leg. It's all about weight distribution here. Once you get your weight distributed right, it's a lot easier. But it will take all of your core stability to do this move. And if you need to slow it down, slow it down. I know I'm going quite fast here, but I actually find that slightly faster helps me with my balance. Otherwise, I reckon I'm gonna roll off this ball. So you go at your own pace. Out to the side and down. It's like an awkward aeroplane kind of move. And squeeze that glute, may as well, right? Get some extra butt work in with that elevation. A few more like this, and then we're going to cut it down and just do uppers and lowers separately. How about four more? And down, really concentrating. Three, and down. Two, and down. And last one, and down. Nice job. Now we're going to keep our weights in front, and we're going to do the same upper body exercise, and we're going to do 30 all together, going one, two, three, four, okay? So it's up, side, up, down. Up, side, up, down. Now, maybe roll forward a bit more so you get a larger range of motion. And as you come up, 
I want you to really think about squeezing your lower back as if you're doing a crunch in the lower back. This is seven and down and eight. So we're going to be here for a while and nine and down and ten. So bring your arm all the way back and down. Twelve and down. Thirteen. Down. Fourteen. Are you feeling your obliques? Squeeze your obliques by bringing your arm back more. Sixteen. Down. Seventeen. Come on. Breathe out on the back. Nineteen. Down and 20, come on, just 10 more. Up side, front down. And two, and down. And three, all the way down. Four is your lower back burning. And five, down. Six, down. Seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Okay, drop those weights. We're gonna scoot forward now and we're gonna do just the legs, okay? So make sure you're nice and anchored. We're gonna bring our leg up, forward, and down. Up, side, and down. Three, down. Squeeze the glute, four, and five. We're only doing 20. Six, bring it out to the side. Seven, and lean into it. Eight, maybe look towards that foot. Nine, and 10. Squeeze your glute at the top and keep your leg high. And 12, come on. 13, finish with me. 14, this is hard. 15, and 16, and 17, and 18, and 19, and 20. So even though it seemed like that last one was hard, it was actually still easier because less reps. So we did go from hardest to easiest, even though it was kind of a bit of a weird rep pattern there. Okay, so now we're going to lose the ball. We're going to use our loop again, and we're going to use our light weights, and we're doing our last grouping, which is abs. So put the loop around your forearms again, and hold on to your weights and we're going to come down into a C curve then as we come up we're going to lift our legs up and we're going to row down then we're going to come down lift our legs up row down okay do it with me down and up row and up down and up row and up down and up row and up now if you want to straighten those legs down and up row it. So this is kind of similar to other exercises that you've seen me do in my triple burn workouts, but with the loop around the forearms, so make sure there's tension there, and lifting the legs like this from C curve, it's mega challenging. Down and up. Four more. Don't fall back like me. Three more. Down and up. Two more. And across. Last one and across. Nice job. We're losing the light weights and we're just using the loop. This time I'm just going to hold on to it with my hands here and it's going to give me a larger range of motion. Are you ready? Breathe in. <sighs> Breathe out. Make sure you've got that C curve so your chest is coming towards your thighs. There's tension on your loop. Don't let it be floppy. We're going to come down and up and row it. Down and up and row it. Now if you want, legs are straight. Or maybe just one leg straight and hover the other leg. That's an option. Down and up, down and up, row it. So now that you've got your arms more free and less weight, scoop it around. Give me a figure eight, a really big one. Down and up and around. Down and up and around. Just a few more. I know my hip flexors are feeling this, so I'm sure yours are. Four more, down and up around. Three more, around. Two more, around. Last one, around. Just give me a little break. 
Deep breath in. Okay, so now we're going to keep one foot on the ground and we're just gonna chop around and around. Do it with me, around and around. So much easier, right? So, around to the back, look to the back, back of the mat, back of the mat, all the way, all the way. And if this is too much, just do the upper body. Maybe get into it even more. Keep your feet grounded. Why not? A few more like this. How about eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, done. High five. Congratulations. You completed all of the six groupings. Not easy. Let's stretch it out. Just sit cross-legged and reach. Ah, oh, that feels so good. And reach. Breathing and stretching the side body. And reach and then reach across to the corner and across to the corner. Feeling so good, lengthening everything out and across. And now sit up really nice and tall, hold on to your knee, deep breath in and rotate through the back. Nice tall spine. And then twist around to the other side. And one more time each side. And again, nice spinal rotation. And I'm just gonna lie down on my back and I'm going to bring my leg in, nice hamstring stretch. So those ball rollouts got that hamstring really good. You would have felt that big time. Point and flex. And then open up slightly, get a bit more of the inner hamstring, maybe bend and extend. And then slightly across, not too much here. Then figure four, lace your hands underneath, bring that in. Open it up through the outer hip as well. Ah, oh, that feels good. And then we're just gonna switch up those sides. So other leg in, point and flex through that foot. And then out to the side and you can slowly bring it down to open up the side part of the hamstring as well as a bit of inner thigh. And then just bring it across very lightly across the center line, nothing too crazy here. This one is for the outside of the knee there. You should be able to feel that. Then figure four stretch, bring that in. Feels really good. Then I want you to lie down on your tummy and just push up, stretching through the front of the body and then lie down and if you can grab your feet Bring your heels in and maybe lift off and lift off. Lift off and lift off. So lifting your thighs off the mat, feeling your quad stretching. Dynamic stretch. Two more for each side. Last one and one. Nice job. Coming into child's pose to the front, to the back, into all fours. Rolling your spine up to the ceiling. Relax and roll up. And relax and then just sit cross-legged. Stretch out your forearms, your biceps. And then across the shoulder. Lots of shoulder work today. And then down the back, lean into it. Other side. Then out and interlace and just bring that up. Really opening through the chest. Feels good. And then just hold on and round through the back, especially the arm that's on top, round into that corner. And then other arm on top and round into that, really stretching and opening up the shoulder blade. And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me for Triple Burn Shape. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you at the next segment.